Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more custom zombies here on that world. Now today, I got a special map to play. This is UGX Requiem, and this is actually the first map that's using the UGX mod version 1.1. You guys know the UGX mod version 1.0.4 with like gun game, sharpshooter, and all that. Well, this is the new updated version of it, and it includes a lot of new stuff, and this is the very first map to include it. This is... Of course, made by the UGX team. Now, this map, the only way to play it is you gotta be a donor, which donate $4 to UGX, and you can get access to this map, and with the new UGX launcher that comes with it. But, I will be linking the UGX mod site, so you guys can check it out, and check out what it's about, and all that good stuff, as well as the UGX mod's YouTube channel, so you can look at all the different, oops, so you can look at all the different um, stuff that's in UGX mod. Now there's a lot of good stuff in this. As you can see, we got like new game modes. We've had we have had classic gun game, arcade mode, and drop shoot and bounty hunter. I've never played bounty hunter, so I'm not exactly sure what that's about. But we've had all these before. But now they added in King of the Hill and Chaos mode. King of the Hill is not available yet, and you can only play it in co-op anyway. But yeah, and gun game is a lot different as well. But we're just going to stick with classic for now. I will be showing off these different game modes and stuff. We've seen like gun game, arcade mode, and shoot like I mentioned before. But I'll be showing them all of these off. See what's new. We also got like new chairs here. But I'm just going to leave these alone for now and just play classic. But later on, I will be showing off the new game modes. Especially chaos mode. Because I love the chaos mode. Chaos mode is basically the mode from MW3 except it's in zombies. And it is so freaking fun to play on this. But let's just go ahead and start off with Classic. Now you will see all these different like new weapons and stuff that that they made in this. Like the Brundagat and all that. We got also got the Hell's Retriever. And like a little Easter egg to unlock the Hell's Retriever as well. And we start off with an M9 Beretta on this. Which is exactly the same on 1.0.4. Except I think it's a... Different look. Like, I don't remember it looking like this. Now, this is actually the first time I've ever played classic mode on this. I've been playing the crap. I mean, the crap out of chaos mode. I absolutely love chaos mode on this. It is so freaking fun to play. And look, we got the Mob of the Dead box location as well. And you guys would love the box. I... Have, like I said, I've never played cl classic mode yet, but I've seen you always win play this, and the box looks f so freaking amazing. I believe they call it like a Pandora's box or something like that, but it just looks so cool. And when, if you guys ever watched The Walking Dead, you'll notice that that's a Walking Dead door. The don't open dead inside door. Okay, now do Oh yeah, I think there's a weapon somewhere over here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, and the weapons, I'll, I'll show you guys at the end of this round. The weapon, like, um, like the wall guns for it looks so epic. Look, let's back away. You can't see it. Back up or go closer and look, the weapon just appears like that. So we do got the M14. I don't really want that. There is an epic honey badger in this from Ghost though. That I definitely want to get my hands on because it looked like one of the best wall guns. And we get quite early as well. But yeah, this map has a pretty awesome easter egg to unlock the, like, the Hell's Retriever. To unlock the new Elemental Pack-A-Punch, which is basically like the regular Pack-A-Punch, except you can get like Elemental Effects on it, which is amazing, which I hope I'll be able to show you guys. Also got like, we can purchase like torrents and different stuff like that. We can upgrade the torrents and all that. And all of this is automatically on the UGX mod. So whenever you see a map using the UGX mod, you guys will be able to use those different stuff like the Elemental Machine, the Hell's Retriever, Brundagas, stuff like that. It won't just be for this one particular map. Oh, and another thing I love about this is whenever you open up a door, zombies are already spawning at it. Like if you try and save one at the end of the round or whatever, and you open up that door, a bunch of zombies will automatically spawn there. It does it for a couple of doors. Not all the doors, just a couple of them. Oh no. Oh crap. 
Okay. Can't jump over that crawler, apparently. Now, like I said, this is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how they get hit. But, yeah, like I said, this is a beta version of the map, of the map and the mod. So, you guys will see, like, bugs and different problems like that. But I will be doing this map again once the actual release comes out. Or if they make an update to the map, I will be playing it again. I'm planning on playing this a lot. On my own time and on my YouTube channel. Because what I've played so far is so freaking cool. Okay. Now, I'm kind of in trouble right now. Okay, there's so many crawlers right there. I have no idea how I'm not getting hit right now. Okay, I'm trying to just buy time just so these crawlers can get out of the way. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm buying this gun. I don't even care. But yeah, some of these guns we've seen in the um, UGX mod 1.0.4, which was the latest one before this one. But some of these are new. Most of these guns are new. And some of them have been updated. Okay, let's just open that up. And what is that? The foul? I don't want that. Now, I believe there is uh, like a web or something we need to do in here for the Easter egg. But as you can see, if you come over here, it says these boards look strong. Maybe I could break them with a tour. And you need to try to find an axe of some kind. And then you can break those boards and make it on to the next area. Which, the animation for breaking the boards looks so freaking cool as well. I love the animation for it. Whoa, get out of the way. But yeah, like I said, if you guys do want to see the other game modes, especially Chaos Mode, I'll definitely be bringing them out at some point. I, I plan on playing the crap out of this map, though. Because even if I don't have the... Or even though I haven't played classic mode at all, this is my first attempt on classic mode. The game modes are just so amazing. I mean, I loved gun game in the version 1.0.4. But this is just so amazing. It's so fun on this newer updated version. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Die. Okay, I don't know if being in here is such a good idea. Yeah, let's leave. Okay, we need to try to keep one. I mean, it's round six already. We need to keep one. I'm grabbing that. I don't even care. Okay. Well, we got a nice 7k points. And look, we also got a solo scoreboard in this as well. That is implemented into the UGX mod version 1.1. Okay, these guys are starting to run, which I'm not a huge fan of that. Oh, crap. Die. Go, go, go. Okay. Yeah, I see that right here would be the best place to train for the early rounds. Okay. I'm liking this foul, though. The foul looks pretty cool. I think this is like the MW2 version. I'm pretty sure there's another Black Ops version. Don't think so, at least. Okay. Come on, crawl for me. What a look around. Oh crap, I'm out of ammo. Okay, just go ahead and kill off those guys. Seriously? Okay. Um, thank those. I think that's the last guy. Okay, now I'm pretty sure there is the tool in here. I'm pretty sure it'll give me the indicator. I don't know if it moves though. It could actually move places. So I guess let's just look around. Now that teddy bear actually doesn't do anything. That's actually the box location. Because the box... Oh, there it is. Grab the axe. Um, Let me grab the axe. Did I grab it? Thought it would just disappear. No, I did not. Okay. Not exactly sure why I'm not grabbing it right now. I mean, I'm pressing F on it, so... I don't know. I have no idea why I'm not grabbing it. 
I do need to buy some foul ammo. Seriously? Let me buy ammo. Thank you. Okay, let's go try and grab it again. I mean, I got way more than a thousand points. There it goes. Finally. Okay, it will stay in my inventory for the rest of the game. Okay, cool. So, we need X to do that. And look at this animation. Um, how do you do it? Oh, there we go. F. Look at that, though. It acts just like a melee weapon. Looks so cool as well. There we go. Okay. So, we got stamina up back there. We need the power, obviously. Now, this does have a buildable power switch. So, we gotta look out for ports. Now, over here... Is where this gun is. The freaking honey badger. And it looks so nice on this as well. Looks so nice. Okay, so, let's just go ahead and open up some stuff. Now, that's Double Tap. Double Tap is Double Tap version 2 as well. From Black Ops 2, so that's awesome. Okay, oh, what is this? A mysterious force currently keeps this door locked. Okay. Can we open this up? Or maybe we just gotta go through this door then. This is like the way to go. 750. Go ahead and open up that. Now, I do gotta watch out just in case they spawn some more zombies whenever I open up a door. Got PhD right there. Okay, so what's up here? Oh, there's the box down there as well. Definitely wanna show you guys the boss. Optional quest to acquire the Hell's Retriever. Find the meteorites to begin. Okay. So we gotta find the meteorites to begin to get the Hell's Retriever. Okay, cool. So, looks like we need to go out here to get to the box now. 1250, open that up. And this is a new perk in version 1.1 as well. It's called Sharon is Karen, which is kind of useless on solo, but the point of that perk is to place, you can place your weapon down and a co-op player can actually take your weapon if they need, like, a weapon. Like, if they spawn it with no weapon or whatever, you can hit the box for them. Or you could just be nice and just throw your weapon down and they can pick it up. Which is pretty cool. Due to last minute issues, this book is not available in the beta yet. Check back in the next release. Okay. So, we can't buy Tombstone just yet. But look at this box. And you open it. And look at that. And look at all those cool weapons as well. Oh, yes. We got the scavenger. Let's go. That's my first time hitting the box on this map. And I got the freaking scavenger. Let's do this. Seriously. Die. Thank you. Okay, what goes this? The intervention. Don't really want that. Now, I think I'm going to camp out here. Just because there is the honey badger out here. Which... Wait. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Okay. Did not know that would happen. Okay, I cannot see a thing right now. Get away from me, zombies. Get away. Okay, so note to self, do not go in that water right there. But yeah, I think I'm going to try out here with the honey badger. Just so I can build up some points. And so I can buy ammo if I need to. Because I'm going to have to buy quick revive again. Thanks to me going down because I was in some like electric, electric fired water or whatever that was. Gotta watch out for that though. But this is a pretty big area to train, so I should have no problem training in here. I want to test out the scavenger as well, so let's just group them up and kaboom. Get away from me as well. Oh yes. Look at that. Just annihilates the zombies. Definitely gonna have to get PhD with this though. Now I... Can I quickly come out here and get quick revive? There we go. Nice. Okay, now let's see if we can quickly get out as well. Get away from me. Nice. Okay. So now we got quick revive. So now I'm not worried anymore. 